Hi, it's Joshua again, and I'm going to show you the three types of buttons we have on the Array Touch. So we have button nodes, control change nodes, and program change nodes. So let's start with the node buttons, and I will use them as an example of the latched feature. First, an unlatched button is a button which will enable itself when you touch it and disable itself when you release your finger. A latch button will remain enabled until the next time you touch it. Next button, the control change button. It can send control change information to your synth. And I will use the node buttons, the control change button, and a key grid to illustrate it. And lastly, I'm going to show you the program change button, which can be used, for instance, to change layout rapidly, just like this. Also, you can control directly the touch by setting it as an output of a MIDI track directly on your computer, like this. I'm going to show you how I mapped a control change in the synth I used for the button demonstration. So, first, on the vital synth, you right-click on the knob you want to use for the macro, and then you press Learn MIDI Assignment. So it will listen to the touch. Then you press the button you're going to use, which is this one, and now it's learned. As you can see, the knob moves. And then you have to select the effect you want to assign it to. So let's go to Effects and choose, for instance, the flanger mix. You, you drag and drop it to the mix. And there you go. And this is it. As I mentioned, I use buttons and key grids for this layout. And in the next video, Omar will show you how to create a layout from scratch directly in the lab.